Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name's Melina and today I want to share an app for the book lovers. So if you didn't know or you don't track your books, typically the majority of people use either Goodreads or Storygraph. I personally have been using Goodreads since about 2017-2018 and I really haven't switched since. I have tried Storygraph because I really like the stats that they use. I felt like it was lacking the community aspect that Goodreads had, so I went back to Goodreads and I really haven't used Storygraph since. But recently in my book club, one of the girls in our group had mentioned that we should maybe try out Fable so we could talk about the book as we're reading it. So for those of you who don't know, Fable is a new book tracking app, but it also has really good book club features and a really good social community aspect to it. So firstly, I want to talk a little bit about why I think I like Fable and probably will be leaving Goodreads if Fable makes a few changes in the future permanently. First and foremost, I feel like for book clubs, it's really, really well done. I have glanced at the Goodreads book club section and it seems like it's just like people commenting and then like people could continue commenting other people's like messages throughout the group chat but in Fable I feel like it's so much better because it's broken down by chapter so in each chapter you have a little thread and you could have a conversation about your thoughts of the on the book at that chapter and so it avoids spoilers from other people in the group but you could also still have a conversation immediately as you finish a chapter and someone will respond eventually so it's pretty cool I think it's also really easy to find like book clubs because if you're reading a book and you add it to your currently reading, they will give you suggested clubs that are also reading that book if you're interested in joining and you just want to socialize with people who are also reading the same book as you. That feature alone was one of the reasons that I really liked it. So Fable allows you to import your Goodreads information and automatically move it onto the app, which is really helpful so you don't have to move every single rating or every single book you read and you also don't need to start from scratch. I like the homepage. They have a section and it shows you you're currently re read and you once you tap that you started reading that book for the day you could update what page you're on or percentage you're on and you could update from there and as you scroll down then it gives you a feed of either people that you're following that are in your network I think it's what they call it or random people throughout the app and the way that they show you what's on your social homepage is based on things that are on your currently read on your what you want to read or people who seem to have similar interests in you in books so it's really cool and I really like it they put quotes people post pictures they show what they've read and I feel like Goodreads is super cool and I really love the homepage when you're following people but it's also really difficult to find new people if you don't really know them them. like you might have read maybe a review from someone and then you'll click on their profile and follow them but from here it's kind of cool because you don't really need to do so much searching they automatically recommend people that you could follow if you want I also really like that they don't really show you how many people you're following or how many people are following you is just kind of a network there's no number to it so you kind of just get to enjoy the app for the reading socialization community purpose I did realize that some of the books that I had on my Goodreads at least from the export something did not transfer correctly because um, uh, my books read for the year is incorrect. Some of the books that were my currently read was not the correct book. It was a different book. And my number also and like what I want to read, it's off. I'm not completely sure. I don't know if I'm going to take the time to go and look anyways, but that is something that could be a problem for people if you want to export and you're hoping that everything gets transferred over, you want to stop using Goodreads. It's not 100% foolproof and I know that for a fact. Another thing I noticed is that they don't really have a computer web-based version of their website. They only predominantly work on the app like you could look at your profile and sign in but the community aspect the home page and updating also your currently like your current reads is not an option through the website so I really hope that they do that in the future because I do actually like having a tab sometimes of good reads on my computer when I do use my computer versus using it only on the mobile app even though I do tend to update more through the app than the website I also like how user-friendly it is I do feel like it's very like trendy and up-to-date and that's kind of coming from somebody who's used Goodreads like I said since about 2017 and they have made zero updates to the app or the website in all the time that I've used it is the same exact app so this one feels like just fresh and renewed and it just has a lot of features that I already really like one thing I really like that it has is that it has actually some statistics I'll show you right here a little bit what I'm talking about that it shows you it gives you like a little personality blurb if you scroll down it shows you how much you've read in a month um your top author I believe that's it. It doesn't have as many stats as Storygraph, but if you're not too big on the numbers and like the specifics, this is way more than what Goodreads gives you in terms of like fun charts 
of your information. One thing I don't really like is that they push their own, like buying a book, an ebook through their app because it doesn't really look to Kindle or Nook like you would have to use the Fable app, which is something I would never do because I don't, I, I read either on my Kindle or paperback. I don't really read off of like a website because it hurts my eyes after a while and I just feel like it doesn't really make sense. I really like that they have um, half star ratings, which is something that I've always wanted Goodreads to have. Um, it's not as good as Storygraph because Storygraph does have like um, 0.25, so you could do like a quarter of a star or three quarters of a star. But this is already a big update because I really do like having half stars. I don't, I used to rate in full star ratings, but I feel like I've read so many books and sometimes things just fall right in between the two ratings. So I definitely rate in quarters personally. So I do like that. Another thing I really like about this one is that it has a did not finish section. Goodreads doesn't actually have that. You could make your own personal folder, but like for it to hold on to it, you have to either leave it as read or want to read. And that's not really what I want to do. I kind of want to leave it as I did not like it. I don't want to read it. I did not finish it. And they actually have a section for that, which I like. Something that's really unique about Fable that Goodreads does not even touch. They actually also specialize in tracking your TV shows. I'm not sure if they do movies as well, but I definitely know that they do TV shows. And that's really interesting because I don't, I have used the app TV time for my TV and movie tracking. So it'd be kind of cool if I could move everything over to one app and not have to use two different apps. Not that I really do too much movie and TV tracking as of late, but for those of you who do, it's very, very cool. Another thing I don't like is when you are on your current reads and you're updating a book for the first time, it doesn't actually know off the top of its head how many pages are in the book that you're reading. And it doesn't have the option for you to switch which editions so you kind of have to physically go back to the book and look at how many pages are in the whole book and what page you're on and once you do it the first time you don't have to update it again but I do like that Goodreads has the option for you to choose the correct edition and then it does the work for you. I feel like Fable has a lot of potential and could be the next biggest thing if they do just a few things. I feel like they need to add the desktop version. I think they need to add the whole glitch to make sure that, that the information from Goodreads is properly imported. I also feel like they shouldn't push so heavily on their shop and purchasing the book directly through them versus giving the option to purchase it from anywhere. It's just little things. I feel like you're spoiled from Goodreads. So like for you to switch over, it has to be almost perfect or at least significantly better and I do think Fable can get there but it's just not there 100% yet. I do think I'm going to use both of these apps at the same time for now but if Fable continues to make positive changes I definitely can see myself using Fable exclusively in the future. I highly recommend you check it out for yourself and see if it's something that's up your alley. That's it for me for today. If you have any specific questions about Fable just leave a comment down below and I'll get right back to you and if you're not following please subscribe. It makes me so happy and I'll see you next time. Bye.